Um, last night was Halloween and <laughs> let me know if you guys want me to do a separate video on that because I definitely, definitely can. But what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another daily vlog, daily video here on my channel. If you guys are new around here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, ring that bell. Everybody, make sure you guys are ringing that bell and you have your notifications turned on right now. Today I decided to um, do a little q and It's been a while since I've done a Q&A and I had asked on my Instagram if you guys could send me some questions um, because that's what a Q&A is. You send in questions and I answered them. Wow, crazy, right? You know, surprisingly, I'm not hungover for as much as I drank last night, which is crazy. It was just a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. <clears throat> Today when this video goes live, we are traveling to Disneyland. If you guys have no idea, I'm going to Disneyland. I'm gonna have about like eight videos there because I'm gonna film twice a day there. Twice a day, so it's gonna be quite the quite the the trip, honestly. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna bring some awesome new content for you guys, some Disneyland content. So I hope you guys are kind of pumped about that. So, without further ado, let's hop into these questions you guys sent me a bunch on Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me, go ahead and follow the hottest Instagram in the game, which is mine. John asks, what got you into vlogging? It's actually a really good question. My whole life, I have been I've been vlogging. I've been shooting videos basically my whole life. Kind of started when I was a kid around mm, probably like middle school, maybe like fifth grade. And because fourth grade, I mean elementary school, we put on so many production productions. My dad would always film us do it. Like we put on little skits. But I think it really started on a Disney trip. That was like the first time that I actually technically technically vlogged. Which is kind of funny because I am a Disney channel, basically I'm a vlog channel, you know what I mean? And the first time I technically vlogged I think was in Disney because I, we went one time, my dad and I, and my family, <laughs> and he was shooting, he was filming on one trip, and then I got back I was like, why did I never take the camera and film myself? So I did that the next trip and the videos were terrible. They're absolutely terrible because it's so shaky and it's really bad quality. But that's what first got me into vlogging basically and I kind of say my next door neighbor did that too because he was really passionate about videos which I think he's the one that kind of started me having a passion of filming. Why don't you ever show your other siblings or talk about them? They're not, they're not here. <laughs> I'm a sophomore in college and when is the best time to start application for the DCP? Well there's two programs, there's going to be a spring and there's going to be a fall. I recommend doing the fall which would be right now, you know, because it starts from August to December and like four days into January. Do that one because there's a lot to do on that program. You have you have all the food and wine, you have food and wine, you have Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and then you have the Very Merry Christmas Party, which is, there's just so much going on in the fall versus the spring. Um, how many DMs do you get a day from followers? Uh, a lot, I've been really bad at answering DMs, it just, it's just a lot. Did you have an interview the other day, and what was it for? Well, it was for an info session for, um, for a potential job opportunity that I might be having in the future, we'll see, I'll let you guys know. When are you going to Disneyland? Today, when this video is up, I am on my way to Disneyland, super duper excited. I haven't been there in a while. Um, I think actually one of the first Disney videos that I have on this channel is actually from Disneyland. I'm pretty sure. It's when I had a baby face too. I didn't have any. Uh, didn't have any, didn't have a beard. What's your favorite park at Disney? Well, it really depends on what I want to do. I really love Epcot because like, we like to have fun. We like to drink around the world. You know, just go and hang out. It's a really fun hangout park when you live down here. And then I really like Hollywood Studios as well. Um, I like Magic Kingdom. It's just a hassle to get in Magic Kingdom. And uh, I sometimes don't really have much time for that. So, but I really do love Magic Kingdom just to have fun because there's so much to do there. Advice for going into college and where's a good time to apply for the DCP? Um, <clears throat> you know, going to college with an open mind and if you don't know what you want to do, it might come to you. I technically still don't even know what I want to do. Uh, I think it's kind of some self-discovery thing. But just go in and um, make sure you you study. You want to play COD sometime? Yeah, I freaking love to play Call of Duty. Wish I was playing right now. First Disney Cruise is happening now. Any tips? No way! Kevin's on his cruise. Everybody, ever comment down below if you guys have been on a Disney Cruise. I really love Disney Cruise. Um, my tip on Disney Cruise is <coughs> eat as much as you possibly can. I, I feel like... I don't know, I feel like this is gonna be an unpopular opinion. I wanna go on a cruise to eat rather drink. And on Disney Cruise, you actually have to pay for your alcohol, which I had to, which kinda sucked. 
because um, there's no alcohol packages. But next cruise I go on, I'm gonna try not to drink at all and just eat. Because every time I was drinking, I was getting full. And I just wanted to try all the food. So maybe don't drink as much. And also see the shows and the Disney cruises because they're amazing. <laughs> what do you have against Figment? I just don't like Figment. I just find it creepy. That's the only reason I don't like Figment. Is it normal for a CP to only get 30 hours their entire program? Um, kind of, yeah. I'm trying to think, um, but I, it really depends on your location. Because when I was Bell Services, I had basically 40 all the time. There wasn't that many CPs. So it really just depends on your work location. If you weren't making Disney content, would you still be uh, making YouTube videos? And what about... That's funny you asked that. I love making videos, whatever it is. The only thing about daily vlogging, it's just so hard to um, always produce content, you know? Because I'm always like, what's next? What's this? So I... I um. In the future, I kind of see me simmering down and maybe not doing daily vlogs just because I really want to make my videos extra amazing. But I probably would make travel videos, and that's why I really am excited for Disney because I cannot Disneyland because I can't wait to make a travel video. I love travel videos. Rank the jobs you've worked at Disney. That's a good question, Brooke. Wow. So if you guys don't know, I've had three jobs at Disney. My first one was the Haunted Mansion in 2017 on my first CP, and then I actually extended into the spring of 2018, still working on a mansion. Then I came down and I did bell services for the Wilderness Lodge, which was amazing. Worked in bell service in 2019, and then my CP ended, and now I work in merchandise on Hollywood Boulevard at Hollywood Studios. So, they're all very, very different roles and with the company, but it's really kind of cool because I have different experience within the company that I really want to grow in. I'm gonna say my favorite job was Bell Services. I really, really loved the pace of that job. I loved who I worked with a lot and I loved the work location. And it just really felt like a more professional job. So that's why I really, really liked Bell Services. It was a lot of fun. It's not for everybody, but like, it's so much fun just being on the phone and sending people this way. I was in charge of the whole operation, which was really nice. That's technically what my job was. And then I would say Haunted Mansion. Really loved working that because obviously one, it's a, it's a really cool attraction to work at. Um, and I always got to be in in, in a cool role, the theming, there's nothing like the theming of the Haunted Mansion, and I just loved giving my mansion face all day. Not having to smile, just sitting there, mourning the day. That was so much fun. I really loved it. Um, but that's why I wanted to kind of primarily have a different role when I came back, just because I wanted more of a professional job, because that's really obviously what I want to do now. I obviously have to get a professional job within Disney. I don't know how long it's going to take. We'll see. And then uh, I have the merchandise. That's definitely third. I it, it's just something different. It's really cool in the guest interaction, but um, you know, I bell services in the haunted mansion. You can't really beat that, in my opinion. Why don't you like Animal Kingdom? Well, Gab, I like when we go to Animal Kingdom together. It's just you know, Animal Kingdom. It just it's just not my favorite park. You know what I mean? She asked me like 50 questions. <laughs> Want to be friends? Yeah, sure. Emily Disney's Diaries. We can be friends. Who is a good question? Lauren Brown asked, do you want a long-term career with Disney? And if so, what do you see yourself doing? Okay, so that's a tricky part. Disney, um, first of all, yes, I do. Now, with Disney, obviously there's so many employees, so much competition, it just takes a while to move up in the company. What I really see myself doing is maybe working in the parks for a couple more years, and then hopefully trying to get into corporate. That's kind of the game plan on what I want to do. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, but I really want to be anywhere in corporate, maybe within their marketing department. Uh, it really doesn't matter to me. I just really want to get a job within Disney corporate. I just want to have a professional job. Um, that's the plan. I mean, it may, I might not be working for Disney later on. I really have no idea. But at this point in the game, I need to start looking for a professional job. As much as I want YouTube to take over, it's probably not going to happen. So I really got to start focusing on my career and um, trying to better my my life. I've always wanted like a corporate job. I, could, I would love to work in Disney corporate, but we'll see. I'm obviously gonna keep you guys updated. What are you looking forward to most about your Disneyland trip? There's a place called the Blue Bayou. I love the Blue Bayou, and I love the Pirates of the Caribbean, and I cannot wait to see the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay at the Haunted Mansion over there. I've never seen it before, never. And I can't wait to show them a picture of me in my butler costume and say, hey, I am. Uh, I used to be a butler, but I'm really excited for that because I love the Blue Bayou, the Monte Cristo. Super duper good. I literally cannot wait. I think we're going to go to In-N-Out Burger too. I really want to go to In-N-Out. I mean, that's not a Disneyland question, but it's a California question. I can't wait to have In-N-Out Burger. Super duper pumped for that. What would be a surprise to learn about you? Um, This is a fun fact. I had eye surgery three times on this eye. I had a thing called ptosis. 
when I was born, which I was born without a muscle in this eye, and it it would droop. So what the surgery did to correct it was was to raise my eyes. So sometimes you guys have eye questions, and like this one, if I look down, you see like the difference in my eyes. This one doesn't have a muscle that the other one does. Um, so yeah, I have eye surgery three times in my life. But everybody, that is gonna be it for today's daily vlog. We're on our way to Disneyland right now. Super duper pumped, but comment down below what we need to do at Disneyland right now. I know I've been asking that question, but I've been looking at every comment that has been talking about that. So please let me know if you guys have any recommendations. Should we see Fantasmic there? Because I know it's different. Everyone says it's so much better. But let me know down below, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's daily vlog, which is gonna be Recap Monday. Actually, I really don't know. Maybe that'll be a surprise. Who knows? And like always, bang, bang. Bye.